Today I'm going to show you how to use two different versions of the native script CLI at the same time. That's coming right up. Hey everybody, this is Alex from nativescripting.com. Check out the link below for a discount for some of our advanced and intermediate native script courses, as well as free beginner courses. So we're gonna use a little tool called NPX, which should already be installed in your computer if you have NPM version 5.2 or higher. And NPX is really cool because it allows you to execute binaries, which you would normally install globally on your computer, but it lets you execute them without global installation. We're gonna generate two projects, one with NativeScript version 5.3 and one with NativeScript version 5.4. They're going to be running side by side. You'll see this in a minute. Have you ever used NPX? Let me know down in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to this channel to get more tips and tricks and tutorials about native script. All right, let's check this out. The first thing I'm going to do is check to make sure I have NPM version 5.2 or higher. So here I am at the command line. I'm going to issue the command NPM dash dash version 6.7. All right, I'm good. And let's check to see if I have NPX installed. To do that on a Mac, I can say which NPX. And there it is. There's the path to NPX. If you're on Windows, you can say where NPX and that should work. So let's also see what version of native script I have already installed globally. I do have native script installed globally because I use it pretty often. So <laughs> let me see here. TNS dash dash version 5.4. Okay, so let's say I wanted to create a project or just run the CLI from another version of native script that I don't have installed. Typically, I would just uninstall native script. So npm uninstall global native script. All right, this will uninstall my version 5.4. And then I would install the version that I want. Let's say I want version 5.3. Well, I don't have to do that anymore. With MPX, I can just execute that version of the CLI that I want. So here's my code directory. There's nothing in there right now. I'm going to use NPX to create a new project. Doesn't matter if it's Angular View or TypeScript or JavaScript. I just want a new project and I want to use version 5.3. So I'm going to issue the command NPX native script at 5.3. The at 5.3 is going to specify what version I want. And then you can just imagine that I'm using the native script command from here on out, the native script CLI. So I will create a new project. I'm going to call it TNS 5.3 project. I'm going to hit enter here and you'll see this thing is thinking a little bit because it's grabbing native script 5.3. So this part takes just a few seconds longer, but now we get to the prompts for the CLI. So this is a familiar workflow. now I can select what version of the project I want. I'm going to create the plain JavaScript one because that's going to be the fastest and the whole world is fine. And this will create the project for me. There it is. Let's go into the directory. So I'm going to go TNS 5.3 project, and I'm going to open this up in Visual Studio Code. Let's take a look at package.json. All right, look at that. TNS iOS and TNS Android versions are 5.3.1, and TNS core modules is 5.3. So I've just created a new project using NativeScript 5.3, and just to verify to make sure that I'm not lying here, I'm going to see that the version I actually have installed locally is 5.4. So how would I run this project? Using NativeScript 5.3, as the CLI, well, I would issue the same command npx native script at 5.3 run iOS or Android, whichever one you might want. I'm going to use iOS here and this will kick off the iOS simulator and it's going to use native script 5.3 as a CLI to do it, to do the build. So there's my simulator that popped up and then my application gets installed and starts up all using native script 5.3. Excellent. So I'm going to terminate this one clear the console and let's back up one directory into my code folder. Now let's say I want to use 5.4. Well, I already have 5.4 installed, but let's say that I didn't. What if I didn't have native script installed globally at all? So now I can say npx native script and I don't need the version here because 5.4 is the current version that I'm recording this video right now. So whatever the current version is, if you just issue npx native script, it'll use the current version. Create NS54 project. And this one is going to be really fast because I have native script 5.4 already installed and MPX detects that. So I'm going to create the plain JavaScript project. Hello world. And it was created. Let's go into the directory and I'll open this up in VS code and in package.json. Now you can see that our versions are 5.4 for the platforms and for TNS core modules. So now I have two projects here in different versions and I can run them on the same machine, two different versions. 
I'm going to open up a new tab here and let's see, let's go to TNS 5.3. Here I'm going to execute npx native script at 5.3 run Android. So this is going to have to go through and build the Android version using native script 5.3 CLI. And my application starts and there we go. Now I'm running on Android. So now I can do side by side. Here's iOS running native script 5.4 and here is Android running native script 5.3 at the same time. NPX is a really nice tool. You can do so much more with it than I just showed you, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Try it out. It's really cool. If you like this video and videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the little bell button so you don't miss any of the new tutorials that are coming out. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'm at Digitalix over there. You'll see me tweeting about native script all the time. I'll see you next time. Bye.